Welcome to Desmond's Donders and a solo donder to Craig Hawkey Quarry, Glen Levitt. Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. I'm at uh, Craig Hawkey Quarry in Glen Levitt and uh, welcome to a solo donder. Craig Holkey Quarry is situated next to the A939 on the northern approach to Tommy Town. This once active limestone quarry overlooks the River Avon, Tommy Town, and the surrounding hills. A car park, picnic table, and a short walk to the viewpoint allows you to explore further the area of Glenlivet. Diary, 19th of July 2020. After a quick turnaround at home, I decided to head off on a solo donga, a day or so early. Okay, so it was more like Lindsay chucked me out. I headed for Glenlivet, topping off with fuel in Elgin, and I headed south. The first spot I thought of stopping was being blocked by a parked car, so I headed on to Craig Hulky Quarry for at least a night. Tawny owl, hare and rabbits were seen on the run-in. I settled in with a cup of tea and then it was time for bed. Twentieth of July, twenty twenty. It's quite strange to be out so soon after a trip. I'm at the quarry in Glenlivet for a few days. <clears throat> I have set up the antennas and have a good signal all round, with very little electrical noise. I was visited by an estate ranger, saying I was welcome to stop, but do not make a mess. 
I showed him my video from Locking Dorb and the ending of all of our videos. He said thank you and we were welcome any time. I settled in to play radio and listen to the cricket. Between showers I videoed and managed to get a drone flight in. More tomorrow I hope. The weather got worse so I settled down to read my book and enjoy the quiet. The birds are keeping hidden because of the weather but there are loads of rabbits living in the quarry. I spent time on the 80 meters band during the evening. The antenna is now working okay, I just need to find a better way to keep it. around the quarry. It's home to many birds including a fair colony of jackdaws who don't seem to want to have their pictures taken much but I've managed a few. And let's see if we can get in as they sit on the fence posts. You seem to have a detector and take off every time I get in close. We're up behind the viewpoint. There's a footpath to take. But there's a farmer in the fields, so we probably won't go that way. But I'll have a look around the top of the quarry. After I've been to the viewpoint. Looking through the viewpoint from ground level you can see the mirrored sides and top giving a different view and a different perspective on the surrounding countryside. It's windy up here and I didn't bring the mic so here's hoping you can hear me as we take a full view from the side of the viewpoint all the way around taking in the river the far hills the sound of the tractor car park, or should we say the Desmond Park, round the quarry, and there's the corner of the viewpoint. Hello, so what have I been up to on a solo donda? Well mainly playing radio, listening to the radio, reading books, bird watching and geocaching. Basically I'm here just to get out of the four walls of home, have a trip out and be in nature. This park up's a little bit close to the road but uh, it's a quiet road and uh, I've managed so far to achieve what I set out to do.
I did, on arrival, or shortly after arrival, get a visit from uh, a Glenlivet estate ranger. He was uh, looking to see what I was up to and uh, to tell me all about what I was allowed to do and not allowed to do. Basically, don't make a mess, don't light fires. And uh, by and large, the philosophy we have, leave nothing but uh, tracks and take nothing but memories. And certainly take your rubbish home with you. <laughs> but I, uh, I showed him um, the face group group we're on, and I showed him a my locking door video, and showed him the end of all my videos, and he went away quite happy. Uh, it was uh, interesting that that's what they're doing here. Now Glenlivet is a very welcoming estate. So I suspect, I suspect the other estates around Glenlivet will not be the same. I can name one in particular where they're probably putting barbed wire fences and machine gun posts up to keep the tourists out. <laughs> this is a lovely, beautiful place and I've enjoyed my few days here. The geocaches are found. Not difficult ones, um, but interesting. It's uh, it's been fun finding them. It's been fun doing videos and photos of the place. I've got some drone flying in, and hopefully this afternoon I'll get some more. Today, no cricket to listen to. Test match finished yesterday. There's uh, some radio going on. Band conditions are really good. Uh, so all in all, having a lovely time, enjoying myself in the nature. You might think a quarry is a strange place to come into nature, but uh, nature is taking it back over. It's used as a store now, not quarry, and the stones that are deposited here are for gritting and sanding in the uh, the winter, repairing tracks and uh, keeping the roads open around this area. But the uh, nature is taking over, weed, trees, bushes, all growing in places and softening the outline. And uh, on the far side of the on the far side of the road. On the far side of the road, you look over the river valley, the river Avon. On the far side of the road, remember I said that road was quiet. On the far side of the road, you look over the valley to the river Avon and its valley, trees, rolling hillside of the Glenlivet estate. There are swifts, there are swallows, sand martins, house martins, oyster catchers, jackdaws, tawny owls, all sorts of birds living in this area. And as for the rabbits, You'll have seen them in the video. Anyway, I'm off to have a cup of tea, take a walk and do some more videoing and photo photographs, photography stuff. I did say this was a quiet road, didn't I? 21st of July 2020. Nice weather this morning. After breakfast I went out to take a walk. I also collected a geocache while I was out and about. Returning to the motorhome I played radio and chilled. I am leaving the broadcast radio off today to really cut the world out and also I'm avoiding the old timers on the bands who are talking politics. 
I flew the drone again, taking a flight over the ruined building across the valley. The road is busier today, with many motorhomes passing. Later, I went out again, but the rain came back, so I headed back into the van. The rain continued the rest of the evening, so I was on the radio some more and read my book. It's a new author to me, and so far I'm enjoying the tales. Twenty second of July, twenty twenty. Well, today is a day I have to move on and head for home. The HF antenna is down and away. The VHF antenna down and locked. Everything packed away and ready to roll. I still have a pot of tea to drink, though. I spent some time on DMR chatting before packing the remaining things away and heading home. I have noted a great many motorhomes again today. Not many on the B roads I use, though. Journey home was uneventful. I wonder where next. Wildlife, rabbit, brown hare, pipistrelle, white-tailed bumblebee, small, tortoiseshell butterfly. Birds, carrion crow, oyster catcher, tawny owl, wood pigeon, jackdaw, house martin, common gull, black-headed gull, buzzard, curlew, swallow, sand martin, mallard, swift, blackbird, goldfinch, chaffinch, house sparrow, pied wagtail. For watching Desmond Stonders. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle, and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.